Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm Maxwell, this is Maxwell Beats Talks Tech. Today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing uh, the Zag portfolio for the iPad 1, 2, 3, and 4. They're all compatible. And so let's get into the video. I have an iPad 4th generation right here that I had for a while. So the box on the outside has looks nice, very descriptive. It's a Bluetooth keyboard that connects to your iPad. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's Bluetooth, it has function keys, and it's also a case. And so when you pull it out, oh, okay. When you pull it out of there, um, this is what comes in the box. Um, this is the main thing that you were gonna be looking at. But I'm gonna put that for right here for right now. And so this is what it comes in the box. You have your warranty information, it looks like. Yeah, warranty information and warnings and stuff like that, just like standard paperwork, how to use it, things like that. And that's pretty much everything that comes in the package, in the, in the box. So I'm gonna put that to the side and look at the, the main reason why we're here. So it's nice inside, it's nice and soft to keep the back of your iPad from scratching. It feels, it has good travel. Um, it's very responsive. It reminds me of the traditional scissor switches in the MacBook Air, the older MacBook Airs before they went to butterfly keys. It reminds me of the bridge keyboard keys. So I'm going to put my iPad in here, and you just line up the camera holes, and then pop it in. It's in there pretty secure. I can, it's not coming out. Um, then it just has one viewing angle right here, where it's just one viewing angle. It's it works well for sitting in a chair, typing on, but it doesn't really work well for doing this because um, it wants to fall forward. It's actually pretty well balanced, but you only really have one hand to do it with, and you have to hold it like all the way in the back. And as it wears out the hinge section right here, I imagine that's gonna get looser. It's kind of stiff right now, but it looks very nice. It, has nice little rubber pads on the side, so when you take it out of here, you don't bang your iPad on the keyboard. And it has a little slit here for grabbing it at, grabbing the iPad open. And it has spots for your speakers, even at the connecting spot, they have a little funneling to make them front firing speakers. And they have all the cutouts in the right place. And then you have your pair button, in your on and off button. I really, I really like something that I like a lot is that they have this button, which brings, uh, I'll turn it on and I'll show you. So to ac access your keyboard, go into your settings. And then tap Bluetooth and then tap Zag. Folio. They come with a charge, which is really nice, so you can use it right out of the box. And now it's connecting. Now that you see it's connected, I can tap this button right here, which is a square icon, and it'll bring me home. This is basically your button right here, your home button. And so tap it once to bring you out of there, tap it one more time. You can double tap it for multitasking and go through your different multitasking things. And so I feel like it has a nice look to the outside of it. It looks very nice. Kind of looks like a, it has the look of like a plas plastic pleather leather thing. It feels good in the hand. It feels like those old style cases that you used to get the, for the fourth generation iPad from Amazon that were like that spun 360. It fits really well together. I think it's also magnetic in here because it seems to grab it pretty well. 
that wouldn't be surprising because the magnetic clasp is for that side for on this smart cover on these. Um, so it's probably that is magnetic probably. But one of my favorite things is when you're in notes, let me make a new note. When you're in notes, you can type on the keyboard and it has good responsiveness. But one thing you can also do is tap this icon and it brings up your keyboard, your digit, your touchscreen keyboard, which is really handy, especially if you want to have accessibility things on here, because then you can change these to some accessibility settings, or you can have dictation, but I'm going to close that for right now. You have all your standard um, macro keys, you have forward and back, you have keyboard, you have this one, which is really handy, it's cut, and then you have paste, and then you have a macro key for self-designation that it also works as a default as highlight. Then you have media keys of backwards, pause and play, and forward, and then volume down and volume up. And then of course, mute. And then of course you have lock your iPad, which is handy. So if someone comes by, you don't want them seeing it, you can tap that. And then of course you have all your standard function keys. One thing is you can do is if you hold down the command key, it brings up all your shortcuts on all your keyboard macro shortcuts on the screen that you can do for each app when you're in that app. So in this app, we have a whole bunch of different ones that you can do like new note, bold, italicize, things like that. Standard keyboard things you would do on a legacy keyboard, computer, laptop, whatever. That's pretty much everything. It has a good texture and one important thing to note is that it does charge with um, micro USB so most uh, you most things nowadays are USB-C so this is kind of outdated but the iPad fourth generation is quite old but I really like it because I can run older versions of the operating system uh, for things like workflow before it got turned into Siri shortcuts. Stay tuned for a video on Siri shortcuts and for beginners and other Siri shortcuts content. I'm going to be coming out with a whole bunch of that. But I'm also, you can also do other things that you weren't able, you aren't able to do now. Also it's great for as a developer. You can have stuff before they went to um, I was 12, I was 11, where they changed pretty much everything in the user interface in the home screen, which is referred to as Springboard. So it has a one year warranty. That's my initial review of the, of the Zag Portfolio Pro for the fourth generation iPad and second and third generation iPads are also compatible with this. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below. And this is Maxwell from Maxwell Bates Talks Tech. I'll see you in the next video.